Hi, I welcome you to this Powertronics section. In this section, we are going to discuss in detail about what is a Powertronics and what are all the essentiality for uh, EV design and what are all the types of power converters which is available uh, in this uh, power, Powertronics uh, division. And similarly, how we can implement, uh, how we can understand the working principle of the concepts. So what is the power electronics? So the power electronics is nothing but it's a like power electronics is the application of solid state electronics to control and conversion of the electric power. Uh, here, uh, the solid state electronics is going to play a vital role to convert and control the uh, electric power. See, if you take this block diagram, see here the input power and then output power will be there. So, whenever you feed the input power, then with the help of solid state uh, electronics called the solid state switches. See the symbol, uh, it denotes that uh, solid state uh, switches called SCR, that is silicon controlled rectifier or thyristor, you can call it. And uh, whenever you apply control signal to this particular switch, then you, you, you can convert and then as well as you can control the electrical power. So from input to output. Uh, he, according to this uh, block diagram, so we can easily understand. So input you have to apply and uh, so this converter will have a solid state electronics called uh, MOSFETs or IGBTs or SCR. And uh, based on the control signal, so that will work and then it will, it will give you the output. So that is, uh, by this method, we are getting a controlled output voltage. So how we can understand the concepts, how the controlling mechanism has been applied. See again, if you take this uh, block diagram, this is the input uh, of, for this uh, converter. And uh, so you, let us take one uh, converter. So like a rectifier that I will share, I will uh, discuss with you in the next forthcoming slides. So when you apply uh, input voltage as a sine waveform, then we can get a rectified output voltage with the help of additional control mechanism. See here, uh, the blue color line is uh, used to control the output power. And I'm, I mean, uh, one more feature is already that output voltage is con uh, converted. So from AC to DC. So here again, we are con uh, already the output voltage is converted to DC. And in addition to that, we have an option to control the output voltage. So by this uh, graph, we can easily understand by uh, with the help of electronic circuit, we can uh, convert the power as well as we can control the power. So now uh, the power electronics entire power electronic circuits will help you to uh, convert any form of power to another form of power. Suppose if it is a AC, then you can convert it to say AC or DC. Similarly, if you are having a DC input, then uh, you can get a converted output as a DC uh, again AC. So here each and every uh, conversions and then control, the topology called the circuit diagram may vary. So based on your uh, circuit diagram, then you can get appropriate output voltages. So how uh, we are controlling the output voltage? So let us understand the switches. So the uh, solid state electronics, nothing but SCR, MOSFET or IGBT. So before this, uh, starting to the discussion about the uh, uh, solid state electronics, let us understand uh, easily. So by the switch. So if you take this switch, uh, which is used in your wall socket, uh, if you press the switch, then the connector, uh, the contact will establish, then your uh, load will get activated. So similarly, the same ideology, but here uh, the uh, wall switch needs a mechanical power, but uh, the solid state electronics needs a control signal, which is that uh, driven by the any controller or MOSFET, I mean uh, any microcontroller or any DSP. So from that we have to generate a control, generate a control signal to activate the MOSFETs or IGBTs or SCRs. So by this simple mechanism, we can uh, understand easily. So how, uh, what is uh, ha happening inside the MOSFETs or IGBT, any solid state electronics. See here, uh, there are uh, two uh, terminals. So one is that uh, input terminal, the other one is output terminal. The input terminal, the, in between these two terminals, additional uh, layer will be there, that is inside the uh, devices, called the depletion layer. So whenever you are going to apply the control signal, then uh, input and output will try to connect each other. 
so whenever the connection establishes then uh, your uh, you can convert or convert uh, control the power of the electric power and uh, so how now we are uh, controlling this switches individual switches by applying this voltages like uh, if you apply the gate voltage from zero to maximum so actually each and every uh, devices will has uh, will have its own uh, rating typical rating so that rating will be available generally it will be available in the data sheet so there from that data sheet uh, you can uh, get the gate voltage how much voltage you have to apply and then how uh, you can uh, control or how you can uh, enable the particular switches so this gate uh, voltage if you increase from uh, zero to maximum if you increase from zero to maximum then uh the drain will try to connect to the source so else if you remove the pulse same procedure so if you remove the pulse or gate voltage then it will uh, the uh, interconnection between the gate uh, so drain to source will get disconnected so the process will happen on a uh, i mean a uh, very slow manner so again each and every uh, individual mosfet will have its own turn on and turn off time and so we will have a uh, uh fourth i mean we will discuss uh, those details in this forthcoming sessions so keep engaged with this entire uh, series and so what are all the power converters generally uh so first one is that uh, ac to dc called rectifier similarly dc to dc called dc chopper or dc to dc converter and dc to ac is called inverter similarly ac to ac also there it's for uh, ac voltage controller or cyclo converter and uh, how, what are all the uh, uh, what is the applications of power converters in the electric vehicle system where the power electronic converters is used in the ev systems entire uh, ev cycle see actually in the charging stations it is required similarly on board charger even though if you are uh, charging your uh, vehicle uh, with the charging stations the battery needs to be monitored and uh, all the parameters to be taken care so the on board charger will take uh, care about all the parameters and similarly inverter drive so in the ev systems the main uh, main component is going to be a electric motor so that motor is controlled with the help of inverter drive so let us check one by one uh, all the concepts one by one on forthcoming sessions keep engaged with this entire session and power supply for additional gadgets like the power supply is nothing but uh, uh, like a wiper control and uh, uh, infotainment uh, systems and the uh, additional sensors and additional uh, leds light uh, sorry like a uh, uh, light light of the vehicle and uh, other all the electronic gadgets needs a power supply so it will work on various power supply like a uh, 12 voltage 15 voltage and 14 voltage and uh, 5 voltage sometimes it requires uh, in weight may require a 24 voltage so these are all the additional power supplies so here in this four area we are going to use this power electronic converters so actually in this next step, uh, in this uh, entire series, we are going to discuss in detail about what is a charger and how we can model the charger. Similarly, how we can try and develop an inverter for particular each and every motors. And similarly, what all the power supplies are available and how we can model those power supplies. So everything we will discuss in detail. And what are all the solid state switches? So the first one is that diode and uh, SCR mosfet igbt gto and sick mosfet again this are all uh, the mosfet which i took it's a latest trending but uh, again in in this uh, series uh, gan devices also there in the uh, it will comes under that igbt model to carry the huge amount of current and in addition to that lot of uh, solid state uh, switches are there like a bjt uh, transistor, NPN transistor, PNP transistor and then UJT. So these all are comes under this segment. But if you concentrate and then if you know the each and end, every component uh, in detail, then uh, you can easily uh, understand the entire concept of the power products. And again here, so if you take an equivalent uh, circuit of any devices, so, so there will be a, a gate terminal. This terminal only use, uh, going to use 
to apply the control signal whenever you apply the gate voltages so if you apply gate voltage like this so during this period uh, the device will get the drain and source will get connected so during the time the uh, voltage across the load will will be available so rest of the time you cannot get a voltage so the continuation will not uh, avail uh, continuity will not be available so during the time the voltage will be zero across the load term so like that we can easily understand the concepts and uh, so these power converters again uh, so these are all the generalized power converters like ac to dc dc to dc and dc to ac but on the application point of view again uh, it has some different uh, i mean uh, its own typical uh, name called uh, bidirectional converter for plug in uh, ev vehicles like uh, charging applications similarly the battery charger uh, exclusively for the battery charger applications bidirectional converter so here we will uh, use bidirectional converter to charge your uh, electric vehicle as well as that uh, ultra capacitor applications of regenerative braking and the integrated bidirectional converter for a plug in uh, hybrid electric vehicles integrated bidirectional converter and then direct conversion of ac to dc it's a single phase ac or three phase ac converter and a resonance converter so while you are using for uh, high frequency converters with high power then we have to go with the resonance converter so, so these are all the again uh, the types of the converters so powertronic converters bidirectional converter and uh, bidirectional dc to dc converter similarly integrated bidirectional converter and um, and the ac to dc i mean uh, basic converters and then resonant converters isolated bidirectional uh, converter and similarly uh, t type converter topology multi level inverter topologies and a multi phase integrated onboard obc uh, obc device and similarly split converter or multi phase converter for uh, any drive like uh, induction motor bldc srm or pmsm drive and uh, wireless topology for ev charging so these are all the additional converters uh, which is available in the power electronic segment and again here in this uh, power uh, ev systems so we will cover some uh, some of these converters and how we can model those converters and uh, uh, along with the features analysis so keep engaged with this entire uh, session you will come to know about those concepts and uh, so let us start from the rectifier that is ac to uh, dc converters so generally it has a two type of converter one is uncontrolled converter and a controlled converter and uh, con uncontrolled converter uh, will use a diode to uh, get output similarly uncontrolled uh, rectifier will have a uh, SCR that is silicon controlled rectifier. So by uh, applying control signals to this uh, control rectifier, then we can control the output voltage. So let us check one by one, and then uh, we will do the MATLAB uh, uh, demonstration so that we can easily understand the concepts. And uh, before uh, doing the MATLAB uh, MATLAB uh, analysis. So first we have to an analyze the sine wave. So because uh, each and every uh, circuit so this kind of wave analysis needs to be done so let us start from the sine wave because in your avail available voltage in the dom uh, domestic power supply so the ac supply so the ac supply if you keep across the multimeter uh, if, if you keep uh, multimeter across that uh, any uh, wall circuit so you will get you will get to know about the voltage what is the maximum voltage available at the particular two point so that is called rms voltages Whereas if you keep uh, instead of multimeter, if you keep a CRO across that same point, then you will come to know about instantaneous value. So the instantaneous value, nothing but it will have a display system. So that will display the voltage shape, which is available on the socket. So if you, uh, if you use the CRO, so you can come to know about pure sine waveform, which will be available on the uh, wall socket. So generally uh, the maximum voltage is our peak voltage is nothing but so this is the peak point of the voltage and rms voltage is nothing but root i mean uh, peak divided by root so that is called rms voltages and average voltages so for sine wave uh, rms voltage is the uh, unit generalized unit suppose if your waveform is an asymmetrical waveform then you have to go with the average voltage so the average voltage again uh, for i mean uh, the, voltage will get reduced and uh, see here uh, 
the frequency if you take the frequency is a 50 hertz then the time period is nothing but 1 by frequency so per period cycle is about 20 milliseconds so let us uh, decode again so this is a if you take this is a say, uh, sine wave form and uh, let us take consider this is a say, one single period so like if you take a 50 hertz then uh, this is the time period of the single uh, single uh, wave form and similarly uh, each and every degree can't so the entire sine wave will rotate from 0 to 360 degree and again once the 360 closed then again it will start from the zero so like that uh, the waveform wave shape will rotate from positive to negative so here uh, 180 0 to 180 is called the positive wave and 180 to negative uh, 360 is called a negative wave negative half cycle so like that we have to understand so if you take uh, 20 millisecond is equal to 360 degree then what is the time period for one degree so 1 degree is nothing but 20 milliseconds it will be 360 then let us uh, take 5.55 uh, e power minus 5 so that is the time period for 1 degree so from this point we have to go and then we have to develop a MATLAB, MATLAB models so let us check one, one by one uh, so this is the single phase half wave rectifier so if you take AC power supply then uh, you will get to know about uh, uh, the load voltage is controlled with the help uh, rectified with the help of single diode so that's why we are calling this as a single phase half wave rectifier so the negative voltage will not be transferred to the load because there is no any path current flow path available on this circuit similarly uh, full wave rectifier so it has a four diodes so the each and every positive cycle and the negative cycle will be transferred to the load via this any any two of these set diodes so let us develop the matlab demo so first let us develop the diode then we can go for the scr so i am going to open the matlab so just to click the open the matlab and uh, enter the uh, matlab symbolic environment similarly open the any one uh, this, uh, I mean, create a new block and save the simulation uh, in uh, with your own, own convenient name. And uh, take a now we need a AC source. Take a AC source. So the model will be available on the Simscape and electrical. and uh, here uh, the sources will be the here so here are these are the simscape uh, models so you just to go to the sim uh, specialized power electron power system blocks open the fundamentals electrical sources and uh, here you can take it as a ac voltage source so here we have a two kind of uh, simulations one is called the sim power systems and another one is a sim uh, Sim, uh, simscape it's a physical modeling so now uh, we have to uh, add the diode components so again just to go to a library browser and take a yeah, power go to the power electronics directory so here you can take a uh, diodes just drag the diode and keep in your own space and uh, for to rotate the component you just uh, press ctrl r and uh, again you can take a uh, element so there is a uh, series elements uh, resistance capacitance and then inductance so here you uh, you have a two type of uh, components one is called branch and another one is called the load if you know uh, the power converter uh, voltage then you can go for the load if you don't have or if you if you're not decided the uh, value value of the power converter you can use it as a branch so just to rotate the component and connect uh, to the circuit and uh, connect to the circuit and now we have to use the resistive load so let us check how the resistive load can be applied and then how we can take output voltage from this half wave rectifier 
so this is the uh, component has been uh, circuit has been model but now we need to measure the output voltage so to that one uh, to measure the output voltage just to go to the uh, power again fundamental uh, blocks of power, power systems and take a measurements uh, folder so there will be voltage measurements just to take this voltage measurement and uh, so this is the input voltage and then similarly this is the output voltage let us measure the same thing and take a scope take a scope block and uh, give two numbers input first one is that uh, input and the second one is the output just to connect to that one now uh, it's being a diode uh, there is no any additional uh, circuits required so it's uh, ha it has only two components one is anode and then cathode the m nothing but uh, it's a measurement block so you can measure the uh, voltage and current across the device so that also we will keep it in separate uh, block If you want to adjust the scope parameter, uh, there will be parameter settings. Just open the uh, scope and uh, you can adjust your uh, parameters, scope parameters. So you can adjust the similarly uh, scope, uh, colors, all the things you can adjust it. Just apply and uh, check the again you can you can change the wave uh, width also colors also so like this you can adjust your graph so now it's all the components are being a uh, sim power system block sets so now we have to add the header files called power gate block so here it has the three type of uh, simulation uh, type so generally uh, the matlab simulation will have uh, will solve the uh, this block diagram it's a graphical pro programming this entire block will be solved with the help of uh, mathematical iteration uh, technique so it, if you choose the continuous uh, option then uh, the equation will be solved on a continuous manner so it will take some time but if you take if you uh, if you discretize the signal because all the parameters are uh, it has um, magnitude as well as the time so the time needs to be sampled so in that case if you keep uh, sampling uh, discretize this in the entire equation then uh, uh, the simulation will take a sample during this sample time only so here the time can be adjusted so in that case you can reduce the work simulation running time and again one more uh, type is called the phaser type so this phaser type will have a uh, it's used for the sim power system with the restricted frequencies so it has very poor responses for this type of applications for generalized power electronic application you can keep it for you can keep it a discrete uh, simulation type So now uh, we have to adjust the uh, simulation run time. So you, you can adjust the simulation run time. And uh, if you run the simulation, you can easily come to know about how, what is the input and then what is the output. yeah so now uh, the two uh, from this two scope we can easily can't we can easily accept uh, verify the output so again you can change the layout so this is the input and then output uh, of this circuit so input uh, we are applying sine wave the output to we are getting only the dc voltage so like this you can understand the uh, rectifier concept.
and similarly the voltage across the device so this is the voltage across the device the yellow uh, black line is about uh, voltage across the device so during the positive cycle the voltage will get transferred so that's why the voltage is not available across the device and similarly uh, the current graph this is the current graph so the red color line is the current graph so it's a equivalent i mean the current through the uh, device so like that we can easily understand the concepts if you zoom the value so during the positive cycle only the current is uh, moving across the device, through the device through the device so it's be uh, it, this is a uncontrolled device so with this uh, uh, with this uncontrolled device uh, you can do uh, full wave controlled and then three phase uh, single phase uh, half wave similarly single phase full uh, full wave and three phase also so i recommend you so please practice your own circuit uh, for single phase uh, full wave rectifier and the three phase half wave and then similarly three phase full wave so like that you please uh, create a model and then paste uh, the output in the comment box video comment box and also you can share the output in the uh, group also so let us move to the controlled device so open uh, again uh, new simulink file and take the same components like sources and uh, uh, yes, now we are going to develop with the SCR so this is the source so AC voltage source so here you can keep it uh, peak voltage 325 and frequency 50 hertz and uh, And now we need thyristor. So go to the power electronic segment and take detailed thyristor. And, uh, so now we have to develop a control signal for this thyristor. So I will tell you how we can develop that thing. And uh, take a series branch. Go to the element and take a series branch. You can take parallel also. Just to connect as per the circuit diagram and take voltage measurement block adjust the components so here again I am using very uh, random values only so we will go we will uh, proceed the calculations while we are going for the project so these are the basic uh, experiments and take a scope block and uh, take the input and now we need uh, one more component called param uh, pulse generator so just add, uh, that is the control signals and adjust the style also so that we can easily understand the waveform So now uh, just to take input voltage and uh, additional a component called a pulse generator just to take a pulse generator 
so it will be available on the library browser just go to the library browser and uh, take source uh, folder so here you can understand the pulse generator here, here you can take the pulse generator so as per the input voltage uh, we have to feed this uh, data so as we know that uh, input is a 230 voltage 50 hertz so it's being a 50 hertz the time period is about 1 by 50 and the pulse width is uh, how much power you should apply see here uh, if you take a control rectifier uh, see here uh, the alpha is uh, this is a zero degree and uh, this is the 180 degree and uh, the alpha is nothing but the firing angle so here uh, actually you have to apply the pulse during this entire period so during this entire period if you apply, if you apply the pwm then uh, it's called the 50 percentage of the pulse width because the ti actual time period is about 360 degree so from the from this 360 360 degree 180 degree if you apply then the firing angle is is a zero degree so now uh, if you take alpha is equal to 10 degree 10 degree uh, so how what is a time period so here you have to 10 degree you know the per degree time period so uh, just multiply five uh, per degree time into 10 so the in that case you can you can get a time uh, time for 10 degrees so 5.56 e power minus uh, 5 so this is the uh, time period of time period per 10 degree firing angle so let us keep this value in this matlab so we can achieve the parameter so uh, uh, th this is the phase delay so phase delay 10 degree into 5.55 e power minus 5 and the pulse width uh, see here you can keep it uh, same value with a 360 degree so in that case just to go to the matlab and uh, we know that uh, 10 degree time period so 10 degree divided i mean uh, 170 uh, from the 180 degree, half of the cycle is the 180 degree so if you release the 10 degree remove the 10 degree then balance 170 degree right so 170 divided by 360 so this is the uh, pulse width percentage so if you multiply this one then you will get a 47.22 percentage just to open this simulation again and uh, here you keep 47.22 percentage and just add the header file power guide block and measure the output voltage as well as the pwm pulse so run the simulation for one second Run the simulation for one second so you will come to know about that data yeah see here uh, we are applying uh, input voltage as uh, pure ac sine waveform so we are gen we are applying uh, generating a pwm for the 10 degree firing angle so this is the 10 degree firing angle uh, so with the help of 10 degree firing angle the sr will try to rotate and they try to uh, get output for the 10 degree so it will wait even though if it is a forward bias then it will wait till for the control signals whenever the control signals are uh, applied then uh, it will try to continue and it will try to carry the current so like that we can easily control we can implement the single phase uh, half controlled converter similarly we can go for the three uh, single phase full controlled converter So let's just let us uh, open the model and uh, just to rotate the develop the circuit as per that one just to name that uh, device t1 and uh, this is let us name it t2 
and similarly we need two more uh, devices or uh, here also you can keep it a diode also and uh, connect so connect the load Connect the load component and uh, input. Similarly, here we need a two type of control signals. So uh, during the positive cycle, uh, the T1 and the T4 will uh, will uh, will will uh, will conduct on the same period. Similarly, uh, the, for the negative cycle, uh, T. 2 and T3 will conduct in the same period. So now we have to generate a PWM for T3 and then T, uh, T2. So here just I in, uh, introduce the uh, phase delay uh, again 10 percent, I mean a 50 percentage from, from the positive uh, from the uh, entire period. So in that case 20 milliseconds is the time period. So now we are going to add 10 more second, 10 more milliseconds. E4 minus 3 plus. We keep this one, then uh, we can uh, successfully generate a control signal for the second cycle also. Second half wave also. So now input has been connected and uh, PWM controller of the first waveform. And similarly the second graph also. Just adjust the just adjust the scope and run the simulation again. So you will get a uh, three phase output, sorry, uh, controlled output. Yeah. Uh, so earlier we uh, we received only the half wave. So now uh, we are getting the full wave output. So again controlled output voltage. So like this we can get a controlled output voltage. So now uh, we have applied the 10 degree as a uh, delay time, phase delay time. So instead of 10 degree, suppose if you increase the 90 degree, so what will be the phase delay? See here just to change 10 degree into 90 degree and at pulse width uh, I, we should calculate just to change 90 degree and the pulse width uh see here from 180 uh, 90 degree is the firing angle though so the balance 90 degree will be the output so 90 divided by 360 so 25 percentage will be the duty cycle of the pulse just apply 20 percentage 25 percentage here So now uh, you can view the output for the 90 degree firing angle. So let us zoom the output. So input is uh, sine waveform. So firing angle 90 degree uh, we have applied. So we are getting the output voltage. So here uh, the output voltage how much it will be and how we can achieve this maximum output under so by measuring this formula by implementing this formula v uh, average output voltage is equal to v max divided by pi into cos alpha so the alpha is nothing but firing angle so if your alpha is a 10 degree then the equivalent voltage will be there so we know the v max and then pi is equal to uh, the, that is a 3.414 output and you can get the output voltage similarly that the current voltage so what is the maximum current so like that we can analyze the 
ഡ്രസ് സർക്യൂട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഐ റെക്കമെൻഡ് യു ടു ഡെവലപ്പ് ത്രീ സിംഗിൾ ഫേസ് ഫുൾ വേവ് കൺട്രോൾഡ് കൺവേർട്ടർ വിത്ത് ത്രീ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഫയറിംഗ് ആംഗിൾ കാൾഡ് ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് ഡിഗ്രി പെർസെന്റ് ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് ഡിഗ്രി ആൻഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രി ആൻഡ് സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ഡിഗ്രി ടു ടേക്ക് ദിസ് ഫയറിംഗ് ആംഗിൾ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് വോൾട്ടേജ് എൻ പേസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദ കമൺ ബോക്സ് ടു വി കൻ മൂവ് വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് ഇൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ and i will catch you in the next video if you are interested in the internship you will get a certificate by email uh, for that one uh, you will get a internship program so here uh, you can join the vp group whatsapp group and you will get uh, directly you can get a support from me uh, how to uh, i mean what how to uh, do and how to develop your own vehicle and that so that is the cost is only 590 the link is available in the description box so you can get and uh, if you are interested is 11th february 2023 11th february 2023 right so you can join over there if you have any doubt you can ask me i will try to give you the answers and uh, this is my whatsapp number so you can post your queries here also i will give you i am here to help you see here uh, you, uh, after joining in the internship you can directly go to the uh, our lms uh, website so here you can get a ev bundle so see here you will get a complete classes Yeah. so you can download you can download the uh, matlab simulations you can download all the presentations everything you can download the ppt you can download the simulation files everything you can get it in the internship whereas for the youtube sessions you can post your queries you just follow the uh, live sessions and you can uh, practice on the live only yes. so all the sessions are available if you are interested you can go and join the internship you can download it all the uh, notes are available to download thank you participants thanks for your valuable time if you have any questions uh, if you have any questions you can post me just take my uh, number this is my whatsapp number so 9840974408 so if you have any queries about uh, your uh, research activity or your laboratory requirements you can post your uh, queries here thank you participants thanks for your valuable time thank you once again